everyone welcome to today's video so today i'm going to do my kitchen organization i'm going to empty all the cupboards and i've got some bits which i brought which hopefully will help it be a bit more organized i'm just going to empty the cupboards one by one and go through that and sort it out i'm really excited to sort through my cupboards and get them nice and tidy and organized so i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope this helps you also to give you some motivation because i know i definitely needed some to get this done yeah let's go organize them okay so this is what i've got i got three packs of these three of those i did think the pet food but i don't know if they'll fit but we're gonna try it I've got two packets of these which i'm gonna put at the top and then i've got two of these and i got this also so and i already had that one which i haven't used yet so yeah i need to fill up my jars as well <laughs> Okay, so the cupboard's emptied and cleaned. I'm gonna now fill it back up. So at the bottom, I'm gonna put like coffees and tea and that sort of stuff. And then a shelf for like cups and glasses. Anything else can go at the top. But yeah, I'm gonna just start by putting the cups back. <laughs> Okay, so I've kind of finished this one. I might put some bits up here from one of the other cupboards because I know I've got some mugs in there or something. So this is like all the drink stuff and then just the cups and that that we use. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm just going to go on to that one and I might move some bits to this one, but I can't remember what's in there exactly. So we'll see. Okay, so this one's empty, this one's empty, everything's here. Yeah, so this is gonna be like my cooking cupboard just because it's convenient, because it's next to the cooker. So anything cooking-wise is going in here.
Okay, so this is the like, like cooking bits. I might add some more bits in there, but so I thought I would like to get like a, I should have got something for the slices to just go up a little bit, like um, one of those little step thingies. So for now, I just put one of my boards in there just to, just to make it look a little bit raised. Yeah, so my spices, salt and pepper, just regular salt and pepper there. I don't actually have that much stuff, but yeah, some cooking bits there, tin foil. Yeah, and at the top is just like extra spices and a couple of tubs. I'm not putting all this up there. There's, I don't need all that up there. Okay, I'm gonna start the pet cupboard. I actually have had a little bit of a tidy, but I, I want it to be better because this is messy. <laughs> so I'm gonna start on this one now. So I bought these for the cat food and it does fit, it, but it's not gonna get many in, but it should be okay. Okay, so this is the cupboard finished and it looks like there's a lot of stuff in there, but it's definitely more organized. All the food's individually done. Dog treats, cat treats. This is a lot tidier. So yeah, I'm happy with that.
Okay, this cupboard is now empty. I'm just gonna clean it. And this was everything that was in there. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna put most of it back in, but I'm just gonna have it a bit tidier because if you saw it before, it was pretty bad. So I'm gonna just clean it and then reorganize that bit better. So now I'm gonna use these and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with them. I seen this idea somewhere and I think it was on TikTok and I thought it was brilliant. So I'm gonna do it. Okay, it's the next day and I've just picked up a couple of things from HomeSense actually. So this I'm gonna use for the spices. This is going in the cupboard with the other jars that I did. So I'm gonna do them first of all and then carry on with the rest of the cupboards. Okay, this isn't quite working for the jars, so I'll rethink this one. Okay, I've had a thought of trying this just to give it a bit of a raise, so. Okay, that's worked a bit better, but I'm still not 100% happy with the look of it, but. For now it will do, so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Down the bottom one is, it's just where that cereals is and this was in it also. So I'm just gonna clean it and then, yeah, I'm not really sure what to use for this one. I'll see. Okay, so this, what I did last night, I probably should have done it when I was cooking dinner because I rushed it. So I saw this idea. So basically it's good to store stuff like this. Like that. <laughs> So, yeah, it's pretty good actually. Just need to make sure the cupboard shuts, which it does, and you've got the space to do it. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty good idea to store some bits like that and keeps it off the, the countertop now. Um, and also, you could also even like store, store like your oils. Uh, that could also work, which is pretty good. Okay, I've decided to use this one in this cupboard instead now.
Okay, so I've kind of redid this drawer. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this because I've had this for years and it looked pretty rubbish uh, now. But yeah, so basically I'm going to get some more of these ones. These are pretty good for cutlery. Yeah, so unfortunately these don't fit. Otherwise these would have been perfect. But, but yeah, a couple more of these I think would be good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get some more of these. But yeah, for now I've just sort of organised these parts. So so I've, I've kind of like organised these a bit better. So these are going to go, I think I'm going to put these here in this cupboard because I've got the space and it's pretty accessible and I've just got like kind of like odd bits in here so this one is also just gonna go I'll just turn that around so that can also go like that yeah so that's that's fine <laughs> I don't know why I have a jug there still got like a, a whole space here but then there's this cupboard but I'm gonna probably hold off with this cupboard because I've got some bits coming for like first aid stuff so I might just hold off with this one and then all that's left to do the drawer these two are gonna stay the same all that's left to do is this one and this one i don't honestly know how to figure out these two at the moment i know you can buy things but i haven't bought anything so Okay, so this is 10 times better. <laughs> I think I'm stocked up on bags for a while and baby wipes, and I've still got some more up here. But wow, that's just made a huge difference. Everything was just being chucked in and every time, and I just, I didn't know what I had in there. So this is 10 times better. That one's just gonna stay the same because there's no need to really move that. But yeah, this is much better. So this is a mess. So I'm just gonna give this a clean and then figure out hopefully a better way to organize that. Okay, so this is the final reveal. So this is the big tall cupboard. So at the top is kind of like baking stuff and like extras. Here, I absolutely love this. I'm definitely gonna get another one of these. This has just got like, like noodles and stuff and there, tins and stuff, snacks, stock cubes and that sort of stuff for cooking. And this is a bit of a mixture. This is like pudding slash baking plus a salad cream. <laughs> Here's all the jars and then down here I've got kind of like oils and salt and that. It's all a bit of a mixture but it's fine for now. Um, and then we've got the extra bits here and just some cereals in there and I've put, had to put these here because the door wouldn't shut. Yeah, so that's fine. So that's, that's that cupboard. This cupboard is 
the drink stuff here got coffees there and then like the extras up there and extra cups just in case and so that's that cupboard down here definitely it is so much better so i can actually see what i've got and, and get what i need so we've got like baking stuff here and just some extra utensils and serving ware and extra plates and stuff there yeah it is better this cupboard obviously got my spices there there so yeah this is a lot better also I can actually sort of see what I've got so yeah I'm really happy with that this cupboard is pretty bare but it's just got that actually needs to go into one of these boxes but but yeah so just pretty basic in here so I've got more room if I need it I haven't done this cupboard as I said I'm gonna just hold off for this one because this is like the medicine cabinet plus I'm gonna wait till I do my storage cupboard to figure this part out but this is kind of yeah just like a bit of a random cupboard drawers definitely much better i'm really pleased i got rid of the other things so yeah it's it's a lot lot more organized so yeah i'm quite happy with that i haven't done much i haven't done anything in here actually but yeah i'm keeping my plates here because it's just it's just so much easier and then saucepans and that here so yeah that's fine next to the sink is 10 times better i think i'm the most impressed with this one actually because if you saw it before it was just chucked in everything was chucked pushed in as far as possible so i can actually see what i have and i can easily access what i need so i'm very pleased with this one and then under the sink is definitely better i can actually again access what i need and see what i've got i've got like cloths under there and just clean stuff there i'm not going to buy stuff that i don't need i'm not going to overbuy. i'm just going to buy as i need it so it's not too cluttered and then yeah so that's that's better that's as best as i'm going to get it at the moment at least so i'm happy with that and then finally is the pet cupboard and i'm really pleased with this I can access the pet food easy, see which pet it's for, and I've got the treats separately, so the dog and the cat treats, extra foods at the back, and then the dry food, and then just like bits that I use for like cleaning their bowls and food. So yeah, I'm definitely really happy with that. Right, that's me all done with my kitchen cupboard organization. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you found some inspiration and motivation to do yours too, because I know it took me a long time to do it. I also did it over a few days so I didn't, I didn't rush it all in one day I kind of just took my time did a couple of cupboards one day then I did a couple more cupboards so it took me a few days my gosh I'm so glad I did it just to open a cupboard just first of all makes a huge difference when you see a tidy organized cupboard yeah I'm really really pleased with how, how it's turned out please do let me know what you think and if you did enjoy organization then come back because I will be doing a big organization in my very small cupboard here which I'm going to just show you what it looks like so this is it now you can see it a bit better. Yeah, so this is my next big organization project. So if you have space like that, that you also need doing also, and you're looking for a bit of inspiration, motivation again for that, come back. I'm gonna do it soon. I'm just gonna plan it out a bit better so that I've got some things to make a better use of that space. Also on my list of things to do in this kitchen is to recover the kitchen cupboards because I'm not a fan of gray. <laughs> I wanna go even white, but I'm, I'm also sort of thinking about um i'm torn between two colors of navy and like a i'm not sort a green but not a dark green like a, a lighter green i'm not sure i can't make my mind up but that's going to be coming soon also because that's something i really really want to do yeah but that's it for today and yeah i hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching today's video and i will see you in the next one bye